Flexivan was an approach to intermodal railroading developed by the New York Central System in the late 1950s. Brian Solomon's 2007 book on intermodal railroading had this picture of a Flexivan rig in Manhattan which inspired this project. Starting with Ravel's white gas truck kit for the white 3000 tractor and AMT's 143rd scale exterior post van which is an ideal starting point for the trailer. Areas of the frame which will be reworked are marked in black. These are the removal of the kit fuel tanks for replacement with scratch built saddle tanks and removing the angled piece at the rear of the frame which represents a cross member to be replaced with styrene strip for a more realistic appearance. Installed per the kit instructions, the engine appears to be tilted a little bit too far to the rear. Some rework will be done on the front engine mounts to correct this. One rather toy-like feature of these kits which I don't care for is the wheels which are designed to snap onto the axles, presumably so they roll. The axles have been cut shorter and the holes in the wheels plugged with styrene discs. Basic shape of the saddle tanks is roughed in with 60 thou styrene for the top piece and sections of 1 8 inch tube cut to length built up into boxes to form the tanks themselves. The next step is installing a 10 thou styrene wrapper which is secured with super glue and wraps completely around the tank subassembly. Once the glue is cured thoroughly, the ends are sanded flush. The last step in building the saddle tanks is adding the end panels, which are rough cut from 30 thou styrene, glued in place, and sanded flush once the glue sets. Finished saddle tanks are in place on the frame. Filler caps are added using small sections of 364 brass wire. The engine has had spark plug wires added, a styrene disc is used for a rad cap, and 20 thou brass wire provides a release handle for the fifth wheel. With the front mount reworked, the engine sits at a more realistic angle in the frame, and a piece of 1 16th brass rod replaces the molded plastic kit drive shaft. Underside view of the frame showing air tanks and air lines added. At the front of the cab, molded on headlights, marker lights and wipers have all been removed to be replaced with freestanding parts. Some minor sink marks on the seats were easy to fill with putty. Although this is quite an old kit, it's actually fairly well tooled overall and even the multi-piece cab assembles quite well. Ravel designed this kit with a working tilt cab so the underside of the cab will be visible on the finished model. Plastic pearls from the craft store were used to represent the back side of the headlight assemblies. There's more assembly work to do on the cab but the frame and running gear are now ready to paint. In the next video, we'll take a look at starting construction on the trailer.